Big breaking news coming in. ISRO has found out the exact location of the Vikram lander. The thermal image through orbiter has been found, but no communication has been established yet. Nagarjun joins me in the phone line. Nagarjun, this could be seen as some breakthrough as far as locating the moon lander is concerned. Nagarjun, can you hear me? All right, there seems to be some audio problem there, but uh, that seems to be a big breakthrough. We've just heard that uh, communication with the lander has not been established yet, but the orbiter has managed to find the location of the lander, Vikram. Also, we have Mr. Raj Chengappa, Group Editorial Director, on the phone line with us. Mr. Chengappa, can we look at this as some sort of breakthrough as far as at least locating Vikram is concerned? I don't know if you can call it a breakthrough, and uh, so far there is no official confirmation about mm -hmm. it, except what uh, our, uh, my colleague has reported that the ISRO chairman has said. Uh, what is interesting is that they have been able to locate the lander, if, if, uh, if the ISRO chief has said so. And secondly, uh, what will be most important is to understand whether uh, the lander is uh, upright, whether it is uh, you know, tilted to the side or fallen over. That will give a good indication of the kind of health of the lander uh, and whether there could be any possibility of uh, communicating with it properly and possibly the uh, and possibly uh, uh, you know uh, uh, seeing if it could be revived in any way. Yes, and Mr. Chengapad, here's where uh, the Chandrayaan 2's orbiter will play a very essential role as well. I'm sorry, I didn't catch the question. Can you My question it? is here's where the orbiter will play a very crucial role as well. Well, you know, I think the, the, from what I understand is that the orbiter was supposed to come over the position where the lander, if the lander went, uh, I mean, if the landing went very well, in any case, the orbiter was supposed to come uh, around that place uh, as a, you know, for the next 14 days if, if the lander had worked, mm -hmm. so that uh, communication could be properly established. So after uh, uh, Israel had, in fact, programmed uh, the orbiter to move in that zone uh, soon after the landing that's there. So it is possible uh, that, uh, you know, we don't know what the kind of images that uh, uh, the orbiter has uh, got. If it has got it, uh, ISRO has to officially confirm it. But uh, also then uh, they will have to find out because some of that area is in shadows, I'm told. Uh, so taking a picture from the top and trying to decipher that, uh, you know, the condition of the lander without instruments working will take a little time. And I sense, I would guess that is the reason that ISO officially doesn't want to go on record uh, to say that it has located uh, both the lander and may have photographs, either thermal or, uh, you know, uh, 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 other kinds of photos uh, that could um, determine what really the condition of the lander uh, if it has been found. And perhaps that's why the last minutes of data from the lander Vikram's descent is so essential. Well, uh, yes, very critical because uh, we know that it was cut off at 2.1, all communication was snapped. But when it was cut off at that point, all the various instruments uh, that are monitoring the health of a life of, 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 the, of the lander, exactly like uh, the conversations and the instruments that are recorded in the black box of an aircraft, which, if it crashes, that, that is recovered. The same way uh, the Israel scientists are pouring over the data the final moments of uh, the lander and in fact that will give a very good indication as to whether um, you know what went wrong but that might take um, days if not weeks for them to finally fathom uh, why the lander went out of control and why communication was snapped. Yes, do stay with me Mr. Shengampa while I tell our viewers that uh, India today has spoken exclusively to the ISRO chief and what we're getting to know is that the communication with Lander has not yet been established but yes its location seems to have been now understood. I have Nolan Pinto joining me also on the phone line. Nolan, what details do you have for us? In fact, uh, the ISRO chairman, uh, uh, Dr. Isman, this is what he states and this is what ISRO has been doing that time, that reasons why they have fed and avoided the media because they are pouring through uh, all the data, everything what they have think what really happened because as of now, ISRO itself does not state whether it crashed, whether it landed. They only have come out stating that they have lost communication and they use that word saying that 2.1 kilometers above uh, the surface, that was the altitude 2.1 kilometers above the lunar surface. So this is what they're doing now. 
asking. This is this is the information we are getting that with the help we are all because we must remember the orbiter will also be looking into this outfall in its orbit, and that is where uh, the lander, if everything was successful, would have actually touched down there. So what we are hearing from our sources, and also what the chairman is now saying, they have been able to identify it. So we just have to wait and see for his wait for his throw to come out with an official statement as to yes, they have found it. Yes, this is what is happening. So as of now, uh, fingers crossed, they have found something. Let's let's uh, give it for some time. Also, Nolan, do we know of the condition of the lander? Well, absolutely nothing as of now because this is the orbiter. Now we must remember that the orbiter can communicate with the lander. Yes. It's a two-way uh, two-way communication. So it so will be trying very hard in order that because the orbiter, we must an eight payloads. It is in the perfect condition. It's going off their work. This is from Israel's uh, statement itself. So they will be trying as best as possible. You never know miracles can happen. Nolan, do stay with me on the phone line. I'm going to go back to Mr. Chengappa, who's still with me on the phone line. Mr. Chengappa, we believe that Nagarjuna correspondent has spoken with the ISRO chief, Mr. Sivan, and here's what he has to say, that the ISRO has found the exact location of the Vikram lander. The thermal image through orbiter has been found. No communication has been established, which means the next few hours and days extremely crucial to understand the nature of the lander. Well, it's good that they found the location of the lander, that there are thermal images of it, which indicates uh, that uh, the lander, uh, of course, they don't tell us whether the lander is uh, upright, whether it is, uh, you know, uh, or toppled over, and what condition of it, because that's what, so far, the Israel chairman says he's not been able to establish uh, communication with it. What would happen, I think, in the next couple of days is they will examine both the thermal images and if there's any other images that are available to check... Uh, you know, the position and uh, as well as the condition of the lander uh, in terms of, uh, you know, what is working, what's not working. And so I think it's an important step that's happened. It's good to know that uh, they've been able to locate the exact, uh, uh, you know, where it has fallen. Uh, now we need to see what at what uh, condition it is at. And till official confirmation comes, the rest is all speculation. Yes, and Nolan, if you're still with me, here's where the orbiter is playing such a crucial role, Nolan. Absolutely, the orbiter was always meant to play a crucial role. In fact, the, uh, with eight payloads mm -hmm. out of the eight, nine, 13 payloads, the lander had three and the rover had two. So, the majority of the work of the scientific missions was to be conducted by the orbiter itself, 90-95%. So, the orbiter, of course, will be playing a very major role for ISRO, the ground station over here. And that is where they've had some sort of success. But, uh, being mentioned, we have to wait because as of now we do not know anything. It's just speculation whether it landed properly, whether it's tilted, whether it's crashed. No one knows. So they will pour, yes. pour over the data. They'll use all the scientific uh, equipment, the payloads on the orbiter to try and figure out what really happened. And also try and 